what a beautiful day here in Connecticut. Visiting Connecticut, look at that water. Yeah. So with all this greenery and me being in Connecticut, without further ado, we have the 2023 X5 M50i. Well, look at this. With this beautiful, beautiful emblems, the M50i, you know, look at the aggressive, aggressive, aggressive rear end. You know, you got the, the quad exhaust, the dual exhaust, whatever you want to call it. You know, you get these bomb diggity M wheels. You know, I've been breaking the engine in. You know, we're almost at about a thousand miles. Maybe we are at a thousand miles. But look at the 50th anniversary emblems. You know, the X5. Now, why would I buy this? Why would anyone want to buy this? Not only this is the X5 M50i, but it's an X5 M in disguise. Look at the wonderful interior. You know, you get all the bells and whistles, you know. And I prefer these seats over the M seats because to me, the M seats are extremely tacky. You know, these are your fully adjustable, very comfortable seats. You have wireless charging, all those little doohickeys. But what makes this car even more amazing is that not only this is the best X5 ever made, but this is the best M5 ever made. The reason being is this. Even though this is an X5, I would buy this over the X5M just because of the sheer space. I don't like the X6. X6 is very, it feels claustrophobic. I mean, if you're a short guy or if you're a girl, it would be perfect for you. But again, I'm not of the believer of, you know, me being six feet tall, you know, a big guy. I love having my space. But anyways, it's just a little stuff here. So we have the the automatic closed doors. And, you know, so, such a beautiful, beautiful car. But now, why is this special? Well, one went with this all black. You know, I don't know what they call it. I think they call it a midnight package or night package or whatever but it's no chrome zero chrome that's how i like it you know i don't i don't like being flashy i like being bold so anyhow how do you open this oh no we just do it twice so what do we have? This is the same, very same exact engine that's in the X5M competition. This is right here, the S68 engine. This is the newer, newer engine. It's a 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo. From the factory, this comes standard. The M50i comes standard as 530 horsepower the x5m competition comes with i think 604 okay all it is is a tuned engine the engine is the same exact thing as the x5m competition the x5m competition obviously has more carbon fiber you know and whatnot you know me it didn't justify a forty thousand dollar upgrade to all of those things, that's why I went with this. I I would use my money elsewhere. Moving on to what makes this car even more special is what's underneath. It's what's underneath. Is it the exhaust? Of course we have the X5 
I mean, the M exhaust on this, it, you know, it already comes standard. But what's more special is the ZF transmission, the, the new ZF transmission. It has an electric motor instead of the torque converter, which giving it proper shifting and power immediately, you know. This will make it go up against the electric cars. It's very snappy. I think zero to 60 in like three point something seconds. At that point, it doesn't really matter. It's freaking fast. Um, you have these drills that open and close, you know, keep it engine protected. But that ZFMHEV, I think mild hybrid system is what drives this thing to be more exciting. But if that wasn't all, now why is this the best X5 or why is this the best M5 ever? Even though it's an SUV, I would buy this over the M5 primarily because it has all wheel steering. I mean, going around corners is a snap. This thing handles like an X5 or this thing handles like an M5. Even though it's an SUV, it, it can take the corner as well. You can give it all that beating. Now, this is an SUV, but it's not an off-road SUV. This is for those city slickers. This is for those guys who like the pavement and who live in the pavement. You know, for your off-roaders, there's a lot of other choices. We have the Range Rovers and all of that, right? But even I would never take this off-road. This is not meant for off-road. This is for the guys that always love those sedans, always love those beefy sedans and stuff. But this is where the money's at right now. At 110, you too can get an X5M. Even though it's a, it's a 50i, man, this thing is insane. This has tunable power up to 700 horsepower. You can tune the X5M that comes with 600 horsepower, you can tune it to 700 standard. Or you can tune this from 530 to 700 horsepower standard. The only thing different in the X5M, the X5M competition is all the carbon fiber bits here. Um, and also the X5M comes with carbon ceramic brakes. These come with these beefy Brembo steel brakes, which are brilliant. They're brilliant. Again, remember, this is a brand new car. Are you gonna be taking it to the track and doing it, you know, tuning it to on a dyno and let the dyno run till the car dies? No, that's not what this is about. You've seen a lot of those YouTube videos where people blow their cars up. You know, they spend all that time and energy building it and they're stupid and they put it up in dyno and tune it to, I don't know, God knows absurd numbers and it blows up. Any which way, this right here is so perfect. The engine is so engineered well. Again, look at the placement, it's perfect. Now let's talk about the... Again, you get the M steering wheel, you know, you get all carbon fiber here you know you get even the mirrors you know how back in the days the m mirrors were different well these mirrors are the x5m mirrors just the only thing is the x5m gets that little cap so all it is is just this little cap gets a little cap on top of it that gives it those two pointy pointy you know things but other than that it's everything is the same everything is the same not only in my opinion this is the best bmw ever made i'm from new york and we grew up watching bmws consistently break down during the winter and not being able to drive like you know they were not drivable if it if there was snow um on the ground it was not drivable why because they were all rear wheel drive um, and it was very sloppy. All the nice older X5s, all the, the 6 series, all the 5 series, 3 series, 
until they started coming out with the X-Drive. That's when I started realizing BMWs being more um, capable in, as a city slicker, you know? This is a city slicker. This is not an off-road SUV. This is, um, you know, you could do your grocery runs in style. You can have your business meetings in style. You know, this is that type of car. It's extremely comfortable, massaging seats. You get all those bells and whistles. In my opinion, this is way better, way better than an SRT. Why? Because you don't get the all-wheel steering. You don't get the all-wheel drive. And this is intelligent all-wheel drive. So it, it's epic. Again, this car can be tuned. This car can be coded. You can code the transmission in a way where you can only have power to the rear wheels, you know? Or if you choose so wish, you could have power to the front wheels. That's what the intelligent all wheel drive does. But when you code it, you can make it do whatever you want. In this, in this case, if you wanted to track this car and put it sideways and drift and all of that, well, you can code that and get that done. It's very easy you can use I, i'm not sponsored by them but you can use beamer link you can use beamer code you know simple tune if you want to tune this to 1200 horsepower of course you're going to need to do the upgraded turbo kit i think it's the stage two i'm not sure but anyhow i gotta get back on the road and this is the x5m Oh. <laughs>